you way back then, girl. How about now? Cause I'm up right now. And you suck right now. Oh, you thought you had it all figured out back then, girl. How about now? Cause I'm up right now. And you suck right now. What is up, you guys? It's Red Cruz here, and I'm back with another video. And today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a really dope 2D intro. You, uh, it's actually going to be colorful this time. It's going to be like a colorful switching colors and stuff. Only using Android. So for this, you guys will need a couple ads, Fonto, Mega Photo Pro, and PS Touch. And once you guys have gotten those apps, those are free in the Play Store, except for PS Touch. Actually, you guys won't need PS Touch, but <laughs> you guys want to open up Fonto. Once you guys have opened up Fonto, you guys will see a layer of this. What you guys want to do is click the white background. And what you guys have done that just press use and you guys do not need to customize this at all and all you guys got to do is just go ahead and, ahead and just save the uh the picture by pressing the little save card up up at the right top right here as i do right here and say it will say processing and say save successful once you guys have done that you guys will need to open up mega photo pro and you guys need once you guys have opened it up you guys will need to tap on anyone doesn't matter which one it is so for this one i'm going to go ahead and tap on this one right here and you guys will see this little settings bar at the bottom just go on ahead and tap on that once you guys have tap on it it will bring up a little page like this and you guys want to choose image from library and it's going to uh bring you guys from here and it's going to bring up all your recent images so once you guys have found your found your um your image it will be placed in a font folder you guys just want to go on ahead and just crop it don't matter what size it is what well, which which size it is now what you guys have done that you guys will see this four squares up at the left corner and you guys will just want to scroll through until you guys see uh color switching as i do right here oops wrong one all right I found one and is right there, which is switching colors as you guys can see. Now, once you guys have done that, you guys just want to tap on it. And once you guys have tapped on it, you guys just want to like, it will bring it you to this little page right here. And now what you guys want to do, you guys will see this little recording bottom at the top right here. I mean, not at the top, at the bottom. You guys just want to press that and, and just press record. Once you guys press record, you guys want to record as long as you want your intro to be. That's very important. So as you, as you guys can see, I'm going to record here. And I'm, let's say if I want my intro to be at least 11 seconds or 12 seconds, you guys want to stop it right there. Now, once you guys have done that, you got you guys need to open up Kai Master. Once you guys are in Kai Master, what you guys will now need to do is go on ahead and go tap on Media Browser, which is right here above the little camera quarter. And many of you guys know that, but um, you guys want to go to Mega Photo and just tap on the one that you recently just did, which is right here. And it's going to take a while to like process through because it is switching colors and it's a lot of colors so just like give Kai Master a couple seconds for it to uh, process through all right you guys so as you guys can see it has finally processed through and now once it has processed through what you guys will need to do is tap on it and go on ahead and go to rotate and mirroring and go on ahead and just rotate it now that you guys have done that, you guys can now see that it will roll, will play the colors and everything. And you guys might want to mute the auto audio as well. And now once you guys have done that, you guys will need to grab a new image layer and go to background and just go on ahead and go into a white background. This is very important. You guys need to choose white. Otherwise, it would like look weird. In my opinion, it looks weird. You guys could choose any color you want, but I, I suggest white. And you guys just want to line it line it up as i do right here and you guys just can go on ahead and just duplicate that and make a little section for your name to be as i do right here now once you guys have done that you guys just want to make sure that your name is able to fit now you guys want to drag it all the way to the end as i do right here and just make sure it reaches the end so that it won't look weird in your intro now as you guys can see you guys got this little changing color effect now that you guys have done that you guys need to go back into your backgrounds and go ahead and grab a solid color make it as big as the screen as i do right here and just drag it up to the top i did this so many times in my uh, previous tutorials so many of you guys do know how to do this but for you uh but for the ones that don't know how to do this um 
or for the ones who wonder why I'm doing this, just go on ahead and just duplicate it. And why I'm doing this is because I think it will make your intro look a little more decent and a little more cool or whatever you guys want to do, uh, call it, you know, it'll look a little more decent if the black bars is up at the top. Now what you guys want to do is go on ahead. I think, um, I think that's actually pretty nice. I really do like it. So what, now what you guys want to do is go on ahead and just go into Adobe Photoshop Touch and you guys want to go ahead and grab your text, whichever text you guys want. And right here, yes, I do make my thumbnails off of, uh, off of this so i'm just going to go ahead and quickly choose a, a text real quick which is going to be this one it's just a random text that i did a while ago now once you guys have done that as you guys can see it looks kind of weird because it's a red text but in order to like make it like look a whole lot smoother and look look a little more decent you guys want to tap on the color changing and just go on the vignette and just uh check that and now it looks a little more decent in my opinion and it really does and um all you guys now got to do is just find your music and when uh you guys and to do that you guys need to tap on the audio and just find your music i'm going ahead and cut this out for you guys once you guys have opened up your music and you guys have chosen your music all you guys got to do is go to the drop as i do in the video and then as you guys can see i'm playing it through now i'm just going to show you guys something really simple and very easy you guys can end the tutorial if you guys want but if you guys want to know something extra so as you guys heard is that clap, that little really fast clap. So what you want to do is get a solid black color and go ahead and just go into overall animation and go to flicker. Now what you guys have done that you guys want to enlarge the uh, enlarge the picture. And as you guys can see now, when I do it, it will look something. Now it freezes. Don't worry, it freezes. I'm going to go on ahead and put up a preview right now. All right, you guys that's pretty much it for this video you guys and i hope you guys did enjoy and if you guys did please give the video a thumbs up if this did help you guys out and it keeps you motivated also you guys there is a way to sync the intro which i'm gonna do in my other tutorial and this is going to be a part two tutorial if you guys want that please give the video a thumbs up that's pretty much it you guys and i'll catch you guys later Peace.